Hi there, I'm a RS Operator from RadicalSurvivalism.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, bug out bags for kids. Um, essentially what we have here is an awesome tool to introduce a small child to the idea of, um, of preparedness um, and this is a great tool to teach a small child uh, or help teach a small child uh, uh, to, get, to give them an idea of personal responsibility in that this isn't a toy to play with that they drag all over the house and get all the stuff out and make a big mess. This is stuff that's packed in a bag in case something bad happens, in case there's an emergency. Essentially, we're, what we have here are uh, items that are easy to operate. Um, kids, uh, so children tend to uh, regress a bit when they're stressed. And the last thing you want to pack into a, a child's bug out bag are a bunch of fiddly gadgets that, that they're going to have a, uh, a hard time um, essentially operating. So what we went what we went for were um, very basic things, you know, twist light, um, very simple to operate. Um, uh, again, a child's uh, stressed is a child essentially regresses. Fiddly things, not good. All right, we've already talked about the uh, very basic uh, twist light. Again, easy to operate. So let's uh, let's go on to the side. The main compartment, right on top, two very important items: uh, kids' size dust mask. This is an N95 dust mask, uh, just a little bit smaller than for the adults. And toilet paper, packed the way I like to pack toilet paper. Uh, Toilet paper is much easier to carry in these bug out bags when it's off the roll and rolled up. It's not a whole lot of fun. Uh, the process of, of pulling it off the roll and re-rolling it isn't all that fun. But uh, this packs away a lot better than uh, a full roll of toilet paper. What's included here is all actually almost a full roll. Uh, without the cardboard uh, center, it's uh, again, packs away very easy. Hygiene, uh, kids toothbrush and toothbrush cover. There's also toothpaste included. As far as food goes, uh, again, very basic, easy to use. Uh, astronaut food, um, uh, chocolate ice cream, freeze-dried chocolate ice cream, uh, or dehydrated chocolate ice cream, I should say. Um, some, some very basic uh, uh, yummy power bars, uh, many flavors in there. Probably the heaviest uh, individual items in the bag are the, the food bars. Very important item uh, that we packed in our uh, our uh, daughter's uh, bug out bag is uh, it's just essentially a fleece throw, neat camouflage color with with a little stuffed animal for her to hold on to when uh, things aren't uh, exactly going our way. Um, the, the, the concept of having a small toy that she can uh, essentially grab a hold of and cling to um, psychologically, it's a very good idea. Uh, it brings uh, children a, a small amount of comfort, and any comfort in a, in a disaster situation is, is good. Um, change of clothes. Uh, I always pack uh, our clothes in my family's uh, bags in Ziploc bag that keeps the water off the clothes if we get out into the rain or something spills on the bags. And uh, this, the second uh, very awesome feature or uh, concept behind it is you can take the clothes out of the bag and you essentially have a bag to catch rainwater or, or any kind of water for the purposes of drinking or whatever. So, double use here. She essentially has a, band, a bandana here to cover her hair because she has a ton of hair. A nice warm hat because we are in the winter months now and a pair of uh, camo pants and a separate bag here a pair of socks and I just realized that she definitely needs some underwear in this bag also that, that are not in here yet Another comfort item and a very useful item, just a small lantern, battery operated, very simple to operate, on off, one switch. And the last thing in this compartment is kind of a, a for mom and dad for her and that is a, a 
essentially an MRE. Um, obviously, she's not going to be breaking this open at six years old and cooking up the food. Uh, we'll be doing it for her, but the food is in there. One nice thing is it does have some snacks in it that she doesn't really have to worry about uh, cooking and such. But at any rate, it's, it's food, it's for her. Smaller compartment. Emergency water. More than likely, if we were in a situation where she would be carrying this pack in, in a disaster or anything along those lines, she would be carrying some sort of bottle of water as well. But just in case we don't have time for that, she has the one thing that's absolutely essential, and that is uh, emergency drinking water. And last on the outside, she has a combination whistle compass. She's getting to the age about now, uh, right now, where I'm going to be teaching her about uh, how, exactly how to use a compass. Um, she just uh, turned six not too long ago. Um, that's coming, but uh, the, the tool is here and ready to go. We got a working compass, we got a whistle, and it does have a, th a thermometer on the back. A very cool uh, item. Uh, picked it up at Walmart. Very affordable. Probably not exactly indestructible, but it it'll get the job done for a six-year-old. And again, uh, last but not least, this is... Um, a uh, small camo pack we picked up, I believe, on Amazon.com. Um, had, had really good reviews. It does have nice zippers. Um, again, probably not waterproof. I wouldn't go so far as to say waterproof. Uh, the one time I did accidentally get it wet, um, it was surprisingly more water-resistant than our main packs, mine and my wife's. So, not waterproof, but uh, water-resistant. <clears throat> And not only is it a, a carry bag with a handle on top, right here, the woven handle, it is backpack. She can throw it on her back and we can be ready to go. Quick tip on uh, kids' bug out bags. So one thing to keep in mind, uh, kids grow incredibly fast. Um, if you're going to include uh, clothing items in the bags for the kids, um, one thing you're going to probably want to do is about every six months or so you're going to want to pull the clothes out and have the kids try them on and make sure they still fit. Um, the, the, chances, uh, the chances that you're going to pack a clothing into a bag for kids and, and put the, uh, the pack away for a year or more and not use it and then ex and, and expect those clothes to fit not going to happen. Um, so something to keep in mind. Um, All together, as far as in the investment goes, I probably have approximately $70 in this pack, including the bag and all the items inside. So there you have it. Uh, for more reviews and prepping how-tos, uh, visit us at RadicalSurvivalism.com. You can follow me, RS Operator, on uh, Twitter at uh, ra uh, Twitter.com slash RadSurvival. Um, don't forget to like us on Facebook, and we'll see you next time.